Hi guys, so here's a quick and dirty one uh, according to the controller of my panel saw because I had a lot of people um, asking me something about this controller especially Alex from Chile he has some problems with this circuit so uh, let me explain what this circuit does and how it works First of all, as uh, so the main part of the controller, I use a Arduino Nano 328. Uh, it's currently hooked up to a 5 volt power supply. I have a start button here, which is connected to uh, pin number 7. And of course, the 5 volt of the Arduino and ground. I have um, two end switches here so that the saw carriage um, stops at the top and, and the bottom of course they are pulling the pins uh, 3 and 4 to ground this pin 3 and 4 are pulled up via a 2k2 resistor here to 5 volt so they are high in normal state and get pulled low when the saw carriage uh, reaches the end switch. I have a potentiometer where I can adjust the feed rate of the uh, saw carriage or saw sled if you want to call it. Uh, it is driven by a 12 volt winch motor. So here I can uh, adjust how fast this winch is spinning and on the output side I have a PWM pin which is connected to pin 9 here I can adjust the brightness of this LED so uh, the PWM signal is always on I have the uh, motor relay for the circular saw which is connected to pin 10 and I have the relay H bridge for the winch motor up and down which are connected to pins <laughs> let me see uh, 5 and 6 okay that's for the hardware of course I in the panel saw I'm using homemade relay shields like this they consist out of a relay and a MOSFET a, it's a 2N7000 you can see here uh, it can handle up to 60 volt and 200 milliamps so just fine for the purpose and of course I have a current limiting resistor for the MOSFET so to protect the uh, GPIO of the Arduino and a flyback diode to protect the um, MOSFET uh, against the high voltage flyback and of course I have a control LED here also to see if the Arduino sends me a 5 volt signal so first I want to try this without relay and then with the relay. Once I press the start button here, the saw will go on and then after one and a half seconds the saw carriage will go down and of course um, will cut the panel here. I press start. The saw goes on, the carriage goes down, cuts the panel. Now the carriage is completely at the bottom position. Here is the end switch, bottom end switch. I press it, everything goes uh, low. It waits for four seconds and then the carriage goes back up to the uh, resting position or normal position till the 
top end switch is triggered and everything stops. And of course here I can adjust how fast, even when the carriage is moving, I can adjust how fast uh, the carriage will move. So if you have a very delicate cut, you can do this, you can adjust your winch speed even while the carriage is moving. Okay, now I will hook up at least one of these relay shields. Let's say, for instance, <coughs> to the uh, GPA or where the saw is connected to. Uh, that's on purpose because Alex from Chile had a problem, especially with the uh, GPI 010. I don't know why, but uh, we will see how it works. Okay, so here I have hooked up my relay shield now um, to the signal pin number 10 where the uh, circular saw in this case is connected to uh, and to ground of course and in this case to 5 volt of my 5 volt power supply because I'm using a 5 volt relay here uh, but you could uh, also use a 12 volt or 24 volt relay if you want to and I have hooked up um, my bench to power supply here to the relay to the relay contact I should say and the light bulb and so if I press the start button so goes on carriage goes down once the panel is cut, it reaches the end stop. Everything goes off, waits four seconds, and the carriage goes back up. Uh, of course, doing nothing other than going back up uh, till the end stop is reached and uh, the cycle is done. Yeah. So Alex, uh, you see here, my pin number 10 is uh, giving me out the 5 volt signal. The code is running. Um, I have currently uh, put on exactly the code which I sent you via the email. So for me the code is working. Maybe you should uh, try messing around with the relay shield. Um, flipping over the, tr the transistor or I don't know where is your fault but I'm pretty sure we will uh, find a solution okay now I can have my morning coffee here and thanks for watching <laughs>